so you're thinking about a move to the Belmont Shore area of Long Beach. Thanks so much for checking in today. We are going to talk today about the pros and the cons of living in the Belmont Shore area, and we're gonna get to it right now. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sharon with Sharon Armstrong Homes, and today we're talking about pros and cons of living in the Belmont Shore area of Long Beach. As you know, Long Beach is sort of my baby. I do other areas, of course, but um, I, I live here. I grew up here. Um, I know Long Beach like the back of my hand. So I'm happy to help you if you have questions about Long Beach and the surrounding areas. Of course, feel free to reach out. You can uh, subscribe if this is your first time to this channel. Um, you hit the notification bell, you know, shoot me a like. Um, send me a comment, uh, shoot me a text, whatever works best for you guys. I'm here to help you, uh, whether you're looking to purchase or sell your house in the next you know, week, uh, nine days or 90 is really what I like to say. So whether it's gonna happen really quick, it needs to happen fast for some reason, or you know, you're just kind of trying to figure out the process and see what's gonna work for you. I'm honestly super happy to have a conversation with you and kind of uh, at least offer you some information so you can make educated decision, okay? All right, so let's start with our pros and cons of uh, the Belmont Shore area of Long Beach. The most obvious uh, pro is that you are very close to the water. So the ocean is literally just steps away or a couple blocks away, depending on if you're closer to Second Street or closer to the water side. Um, it's really, really beautiful, right? Um, it's it's not only pretty, but it's convenient, right? You have a bike path there. You have a walking path there. Um, you have the ocean right there. There's Rosie's Dog Beach. You can take your dog and you know play ball in the water. You can go out on that. They they just built a um, like a, a a hard surface path. It doesn't go all the way to the water, of course, most of the way though, further than most people would have been able to get to the water. I'm sorry, closer than most people would have been able to get to the water previously. It's just a hard surface um, place that you can walk, you know, with a wheelchair, with a walk with a walker, a cane. Anybody that may have had difficulty accessing the beach now has an opportunity to get quite close so you can, you know, feel the wind on your face and see um, the waves crashing in the sand. So it's it's a pretty unique thing and um, really terrific feature that Long Beach has. Um, there's also, you know, like I said, that bike path, walking path that connects all of Long Beach from one end to the other. And um, lots and lots of people use it. If you are the kind of person that wants to get out and ride your bike at 5 a.m., go for it. Um, if you wanna take a leisurely stroll at 6 p.m., you can go for that too, right? Uh, tons and tons of opportunity for you there. You are also super, super close to Alamitos Bay where you can rent kayaks or paddle boards or if you have your own, you can launch them. Um, you can rent Duffy boats. You can, we did that not that long ago. Uh, we rented a Duffy boat with uh, the kids and the grandkids and went out and just, um, you know, just piloted ourselves around the bay and it was just lovely and the kids had a good time and, um, you know, we just did an hour and it was enough with six grandkids, it was enough. <laughs> but they were all really good and uh, it was a really fun, unique experience. So really so many things that you can do, right? And that's what makes this area so wonderful. So, you know, I don't live in Belmont Shore, but I live relatively close by. So it's not far for me. I can't imagine if I were right there, honestly, uh, how much I would be taking advantage of those things. I'm sure I would because I do love to be on the water. Um, so if you're that kind of person, Belmont Shore could be an amazing place for you to live. I will say with all those pros, there is of course going to be a con. Um, there's a couple of cons. Uh, one of them is going to be with Second Street so close, uh, you have traffic, right? You have Second Street traffic on the north side of Belmont Shore and you have ocean beach traffic on the south end, which is gonna be along Ocean Boulevard there. Um, you you just really can't escape it. It's, it's pretty crowded on the weekends, especially of course during the summer or warmer weather, which we have a lot of warm weather here. Um, and there's just gonna be people around. If that's gonna bother you, then maybe we need to look for something a little off the beaten path and not right on the water for you. Um, it's, it's not like ridiculous. There's just people <laughs> and there's cars, right? So parking can be a little bit of a pain. If you are, you know, um, a resident there and you have a party or you have 
some sort of, you know, or the holiday or something like that where you have family coming in. Parking can be a little bit of, a, of an inconvenience. I will say if you actually live there, there is an alley system uh, that runs along the back of the homes and that's generally how people access their garages. Because if you'll notice, if you drive along or walk along those uh, residential streets in Belmont Shore, you're like, oh yeah, there's no garages. Well, they're on the back, there's an alley system and um, you have you know, access to your garage there and you can also kind of park like in your driveway, if you will, in front of your garage. So most people can park, you know, several cars uh, if they live there. And then when people come to visit, you just have to let them know, hey, you know, you may have to <laughs> have to park a little bit away. So wear your walking shoes. <laughs> so um, it's not it's not too bad, but it, it is it is pretty congested on the weekend. So that's definitely going to be a con. It's not like when you have people over, they can just drive right up to your house and walk in. Sometimes you'll be able to. One o'clock on a Tuesday is probably not going to be a problem. Um, but uh, other times, any time on the weekend, it's going to it's going to be pretty congested. So same thing, like I said, on the Second Street side. Now, if you live closer to Second Street, you're going to have not just congestion from people parking, but you're going to have people walking. There's a lot of people that just park, and of course, there's city metered parking lots there. There's just not enough of them to accommodate the number of people that come to Second Street and walk around. So they do park on the residential streets, and they are walking past your house and you know making noise and stuff. So you know if that's going to bother you, you need to move a little closer to sort of the center of Belmont Shore. And there's a street that actually uh, pretty much divides it called Division. And um, you kind of want to be maybe more around that so you don't have the beach traffic and you don't have the uh, second street uh, traffic and noise. But if it doesn't bother you, great, go for it. Um, I had buyers that bought not too long over there and uh, they just love it. They wanted to be in all the excitement and they live very close to Second Street and they it doesn't bother them in the least. They love sitting out in their little courtyard and saying hi to people as they walk by. Which brings me to my next pro, which is it's very, very neighborly. The community is so nice. The people are so pleasant and they really do sit in their front courtyards and talk to people as they go by. Um, anytime like it's 4th of July or you know anything like that, everybody's out in their little courtyards and they're all talking to each other and everybody's talking to the people walking by and it's, they're so, so friendly and a very relaxed beach town kind of vibe. And um, it's really, you don't, you don't see that everywhere, right? People are out, people are out doing things. They're out going to Second Street and walking around. They're out talking to their neighbors. They're out walking their dogs. Like, it's just, it's such a great place and the community is so, so pleasant and people are so nice. So that is definitely a pro, definitely a pro. The con on that uh, to mention is that um, as we were talking about those front courtyards, there's not huge backyards in uh, Belmont Shore. You don't generally see, you know, um, homes with large backyards with an expansive lawn. I mean, you're just not going to see that. Sometimes there are, you know, small courtyards in the back, um, a small patio area, things like that. But but very few people actually have lawn there, which, you know, if you um, don't want to mow your lawn or pay somebody to do it for you, then maybe this is the spot for you. Uh, the other opportunity there is um, that there's tons of rooftop decks, which are just a fabulous right i mean imagine being a couple blocks from the, the beach and being on a rooftop at sunset or sunrise if you are an early bird uh, looking out at the water with the sun going up or coming down uh, is just uh, really really beautiful there's an ocean breeze up there of course and uh, it's very private so if you don't want to be in the the thick of it down in your courtyard on the street you know get something with the a rooftop deck or you can build a rooftop deck and uh, really enjoy the everything the, the area has to offer um, and a little bit of peace and tranquility as well so um, I, I, I just I think that would be the ideal right the other thing I want to mention is um, Belmont Shore as far as a, as a con is not um, super super freeway close not far of course not far we're in Southern California there's freeways everywhere but um, you're not like within a two or three minute drive of a freeway. Like where I live, I'm really, really close to a freeway. If you live, you know, in Bixby Knolls in East Long Beach, any place off the 405, um, you're gonna be really, you know, it's gonna be pretty close to jump on the freeway, get to the airport, 
uh, get to LA, get to Orange County. Um, Belmont Shore is, is it's a neighborhood, guys. Um, there's, there's freeways, of course, close by. You just have to drive out of the neighborhood <laughs> to get to an actual freeway. Um, but it's not horrible. It's not like, you know, some other places up off the 605, like, um, and I'm not trying to badmouth any of these other areas, but um, some areas off the 605 are, you know, a little more reasonably priced, but man, it takes you 20 minutes to get to the freeway. <laughs> so um, that can be, you know, a problem for some people. If you're driving uh, on the freeway into LA every day, you want to be relatively close to the freeway. So you just kind of have to figure out what that trade-off is for you. If you really want to be in Belmont Shore, you're just going to know it's going to take you, you know, at least 10, 12 minutes to get to a freeway from that Belmont Shore neighborhood. Okay. Airport's relatively close, right? LAX is just up the 405. The Long Beach Airport is not going to be that far of a drive for you either on the streets. And it's it's really very convenient. Uh, by the way, if you've never traveled out of the Long Beach Airport, it's super, super convenient. Security's fast um, and there's just not as many people. So um, it's great. It's really, really great. I highly recommend it. Let's talk about the water a little bit. So being on the water close to that Ocean Boulevard side, because just the other side is Ocean Ocean Boulevard. So you have Belmont Shore, you have Ocean Boulevard, and then the beach, the sand and, and, and the waves are there. So it's really pretty, pretty close. I will say that um, sometimes being super close to that Ocean Boulevard end, you, you can get stuck in some some windy, sandy, uncomfortable days um, when it's cooler, right? Uh, the summertime is amazing, right? But, and most of the time, that's how it is here. I mean, it's Long Beach. We don't really get severe weather, but um, sometimes if it's windy, when you are close to the water, it can get um, a little annoying uh, when it's windy and there's sand blowing everywhere. Um, but if you're a little further in, it's, it, you know, it only goes so far. Um, I will say uh, it's a great opportunity for investment, by the way, um, in Belmont Shore. There's not a whole lot of them. They're multifamilies, I mean, there's, there's a few. Um, but enough that, uh, you know, they do turn over, of course, occasionally. And if you are looking for an investment property, my goodness, you, your rents are going to be, um, really profitable in that kind of area. Who doesn't want to live by the beach? <laughs> There's very few people that don't want to live by the beach. So if you're an investor and you're looking for a multifamily, feel free to reach out and let's at least get you on a, a market watch or something so that you are getting alerted to when those properties come on the market. Um, they they do go pretty quickly especially if they're in decent condition or if they if they have active renters right because that's just income it's the money just starts flying <laughs> so um if you're an investor and you're considering that um let me help you out with that because you do want to at least be watching those areas so that you don't miss properties because if you are just looking on your own on you know the public sites you might miss them um they come and go pretty quick, like I said. That's super, super great opportunity. Um, definitely a pro if you're an investor to be looking in that Belmont Shore area. Um, it's just, it's terrific. Let's talk about the bay really quick because the bay is wonderful. Um, you have um, Alamitos Bay where you can, um, you know, if you're a boater, my goodness, you have um, Alamitos Bay Yacht Club, you have Long Beach Yacht Club. Um, there's rowing, there's um, paddle boarding, there's kayaking, there's the gondolas. Um, there's Duffy boat rentals. I mean, it is just fabulous, right? Um, the Bay has so much opportunity for people. Um, if you're like me and you love being on the water, then uh, living in Belmont Shore will be literally like a dream come true <laughs> because you can just walk to the Bay if you live in that neighborhood. It's literally like a block. I mean, it, there's, there's, like I said, it's not a huge, huge area, you guys. So if you're living anywhere in there, you can walk to the Bay in a heartbeat. Um, Mother's Beach is also super, super close, also part of the Bay. And so, you know, if you have little ones and you don't want to bring them to the full on waves, you can go to the, to the beach. Um, there's also some swimming spots there in Alaminos Bay, um, along Bayshore Drive where there's, you know, there's, there's no waves. There's a current. It's, it's not a wave. <laughs> it's just like, you know, there's some movement to the water, but it's terrific for people who, you know, um, competitive swimmers, for example, can just pop in there and, and kind of get their bodies used to working in the, the ocean environment, as opposed to, you know, being full on in the waves and fighting the waves to get out there and then get your workout in. Right. So, um, really just an amazing, amazing area with tons of opportunity 
for anybody. Um, I will say on a con, it is pricey, right? Um, you're gonna pay for all these wonderful things in uh, the form of the purchase price of the land and the homes. Um, it, it is a little bit pricier. So you, you, know, you don't have maybe a whole lot of first time home buyers, but that's the beautiful thing about purchasing real estate. You, you get in at a condo or a starter home, single family someplace, you live there a few years, you sell that, you take the equity that you that you've made living in that house and then maybe you can afford something in there or you know maybe you're just independently wealthy and <laughs> you can you can do that uh, right off the bat but um, but it is going to be a little bit pricier than you know maybe some other parts of Long Beach of course um, but um, but man the things that you get for it are just uh, amazing all right I hope that's been super helpful of course if you have further questions or you want to talk about you know Belmont Shore or any other areas in Long Beach or the surrounding communities I am here to help you feel free to reach out um, you can shoot me a comment below you can send me a text um, whatever works best for you but you know do something right um, it's just such an amazing uh, place to live and honestly guys real estate is such a fabulous investment and I know um, the rates went up and it's uncomfortable for some people but um, what I want to convey to you is you know equity building is wealth building and um, even when we have downturns in the market, because that's what it does, you guys, you know, we do this, we're gonna do this, this is, this is what happens. But in Long Beach, you know, if you take that line and you straighten it out, it's gonna, it's gonna go up. If you look at the numbers historically, uh, you're going to see that, you know, it really pays off to purchase property and to hang in there. Is there risk? Of course there's risk. There's risk with any investment that you buy. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't guarantee you anything. All I can tell you is that from my experience as a homeowner in Long Beach, as well as being a realtor for a number of years in Long Beach, um, real estate here is a fabulous investment and um, it, it really has the opportunity to be uh, amazing for you for building long-term wealth. So we can talk about that more. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, go crazy into that, but I do want to encourage you to, you know, at least look into it, right? If you're considering a purchase, whether it be Belmont Shore or East Long Beach or Plaza area or, you know, whatever, Belmont Heights, I don't, there's so many different areas and we can kind of talk about what you're looking for and what's going to work best for you. Feel free to reach out, you guys. That's what I'm here for. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day.